what's the artist's name? Is it Ice something? What's the girl who got like the froey hair? She's someone who's doing the PR strategy, right? Oh, Ooh. Ice Spice. Ice Spice. Yeah, like yeah, break break yeah. that shit down, man. So the strategy of what she's doing. Just the, the game you peep and how you see and and, and are, are like, all right, yeah, they're doing they're one, they're doing this intentionally. And then like why you why do you feel like they're doing it right? Because you've seen more on it than than I have. Yeah, all right. So I gotta I gotta paint the picture first then. So go ahead. So the the So we we have the the influencer strategy that we do that we call IGPR, right? I feel like we made it up, so I feel like we have to explain it. Yeah. But basically, <laughs> what IGPR is, is it borrows from elements of like traditional PR campaigns. It's so like if you were to hire a publicist, the publicist would be like, hey, like, you know, who do you think your music appeals to? Or like, what do you like? Right? You might be like, well, I like gardening, and I think my music appeals to people who have mental health issues. That publicist is going to get you on. You know the cover of a gardening magazine they're gonna get you a, a podcast interview on you know maybe like a mental health podcast right mm -hmm. they're gonna make you do a pop-up performance at a local plant shop in your city right they're gonna they're <laughs> gonna do things that put you in front of those specific people that like those, those right. specific things right so now we take that to social media we ask clients the same question like yo what is, what are you stand for who are the people you think you appeal to right what do you think those people care about and so if the client is like, yo, I, I like gardening and my fans are into gardening and, you know, I want to speak to the people that talk about mental health, we might go get, you know, their song made into a clip behind like a, I don't know, like a, a video about the best compost to buy or something, right? <laughs> and we put the song in the background of the video and we blast it out to right. a, a hundred plant pages, right? And then we, we take a clip of them talking about them going through that mental health stuff and we might put it on like a music blog page right so we're, we're taking that same strategy that publishers would take in the pr in the press world applying it to content and social media so the thing that i noticed recently that we started talking about was like how yeet was implementing that oh yeah they, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. true so yeah I, I was talking about how like yeet as like as he got closer to his his album i started noticing that like our generation music which is a really popular music page on instagram was posting a lot more about him. So it's like they were posting videos like, you know, here's Yeet in the studio with a random artist. And like, here's, you know, Yeet XYZ song just get hot, hit 10 million streams. Oh, look at what this Yeet fan did, right? Like all they were covering like Yeet's life a lot <laughs> leading up to the, the, the album rollout. And I was like, yo, like, I think this is a marketing strategy. Um, he's implementing a version of what we do for IGPR. He's just hitting a more like broad base. Now fast forward to the Ice Spice thing, and I mean, I, so I'll say this anyway. I already personally had my suspicions about Ice Spice because the very first time I ever saw her was a, a post on DJ Academics, and DJ Academics right. has been very vocal about the fact that one, he charges a lot of money for a post on his page, and that two, he doesn't typically like to work with underground artists. So out to get it's like I would, I believe him. You know what I'm saying? Like, I believe he <laughs> charges a lot. So it's like she yeah. got the money for it, and. The video debuted on World Star, which was just another, yeah. another thing. you know, that's, that's two big bags right there. You know, bags. Right but, but what solidified it to me was there was this clip. I, I think it was like, it was a meme about a line from one of her songs. She has a song where she's like, "We both from the Bronx, so so you, I know that you dirty or something like that, right?" And so like the internet was like memeing that clip, and I remember scrolling on my timeline, seeing the first music page that posted about it and looking at it, laughing at it. And I scroll, and then I see like a second page. I'm like, damn, that's crazy. Like, they posted the same thing. And then like something in me is just like, nah, you know better than this, bro. Like, go, go, go look into it, you know what I'm saying? Go check it out. So I just went to like maybe like four or five of the pages like we use that yeah. we know, you know do stuff. And like they all have posted around like the, the same clip, maybe within like 25 to 35 minutes of each other. I'm like, oh, this is a marketing campaign. Like somebody's running this around her. And they killing it, by they the way. They killing it, yeah. They so they, it. they've been doing the same strategy. If you look at like how they've been keeping her name out there it's all a bunch of personality clips that are getting seeded out and blasted onto different music pages i've seen one right before i came here it was like a, a video of her like walking in heels and like falling down or something and like i saw it on like three or four music pages you know what i'm saying like today and so like they're consistently doing it with her like oh here's a lifestyle thing that happens around her let's get these 20 something pages to blast out here's a big music thing that happened around her get these like they're doing the exact same strategy the igpr strategy and they're doing it really well and this is how this is how you know that shit is going crazy. 
Like, bro, it's only been like a month and a half that she's been right. It's lit. She's like, it feels like true, like a much longer time. Like, yeah. I was thinking the other day, I was like, damn, the video just came out like a month ago. <clears throat> the song started going viral like five, six weeks ago. You know what I'm saying? It feels like such a long time, but it's only been like a month, month and a half. But like they keep her out there so much doing the IGPR stuff, mm-hmm. just blasting her personality out. Like any little thing that happens in her life, bro, they hit, they hit the so the whole network with it, bro. And it, that shit works. We see it work. Like one congratulations, Ice Spice's team, whoever yeah, actually whoever doing, doing that yeah. thing, right? Because <laughs> one people always people look at those campaigns and they have such a short sighted way of understanding the results that can come from it yeah right? i always see like oh what streams am i getting or how many followers am i getting from that one yeah. all right cool you riding the back of a song that's that's moving but there's processes right there's marketing a song there's blowing the song up then it's also blowing the artist up as a whole yeah. and what doing that what they're doing this is a part of how you actually break the artist in people's minds right that's how i look at it like yeah. you break that barrier, I'm in your mind, you know who the fuck I am, all right? You know one of my songs, at least one of my songs, of course, uh, a lot of people know more than one of her songs, yeah. but even if it was just one song, you know that yeah. one song and you know who the fuck this artist is, you got some sense of their personality, mm-hmm. all that hating on her, cool, that's a part of it, right? Like, I can lean into that yeah. so I can build some conversation on it, then we can flip the, the hate into more attention and get some more conversation going. That's what it looks like. Yeah. But it's going hard in a short period of time because it's it's not going to be, uh, it's not going to be remembered and potent enough if you don't do it in a short enough period yeah. of time. So you got to make sure you double down. That uh, fifty thousand dollars over five months is not fifty thousand dollars over a, a month week, and a half, yeah, a, week. a week, right? <laughs> yeah. Depending on how you how you go. Now I'm not saying everybody's in a position where even if you have it, you should be spending it in a short period of time. It depends on what leg of the campaign is, all that stuff, yeah. but. But like, they're, yeah, they're killing her shit, bro. They're but, killing her shit. And the other thing, I just thought about this in the moment, but it's crazy is like, she's doing what a lot of viral artists have a problem doing, which is putting the face of the viral song. Exactly. Like, you know, that's probably the biggest issue a lot, especially cause I mean, she went viral through TikTok like everybody else, right? And yep. like, that's the biggest issue those artists have. Yo, the song got a hundred million streams on it. You don't know who the fuck made that song, right? Yep. You couldn't, you couldn't put a, you could, they could walk past you and you wouldn't know, but it's like, you know who made this song because they made sure to just keep her out there and like make sure like we're seeing her face, bro. Like I see her face at least like nine times a week, like easy, at least. Yeah, she just be popping up. And <laughs> yeah. then she has that fortune. A lot of times it helps when you're in that first leg of your breaking period to have a unique look. Yeah. Now, that just might be the way she she dresses and shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but like just a little afro, you know what I mean? The complexion of her skin, it's a little slightly different look than what people are are used to seeing. Just yeah. like at the beginning when Weekend had that hair, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That was that made a huge impact. He was also smart by like breaking that mold and if he didn't want to like commit to that forever. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um and doing it in the timing he did, but I don't know if it would have hit just the same if he you know, he had like a low cut Caesar, yeah. you, know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Breaking out and, and, and everything. So, so yeah, it's interesting to watch these, uh, these campaigns, but yeah, congrats to y'all. We're going to find, find a, uh, move to another topic, but congrats to Ice Spice team. Cause we've been, uh, yeah, watching that. And we talk about that one. 